Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are heading back into the depths, of course, as we have previously. There is so much left to find, but we are getting farther and farther. It seems like we're more than halfway there now, I think. So, a lot to work on, but we're getting closer. One of the things I wanted to work on are some more of the X marks of spots, especially in the areas I've been to, but I've recently found the treasure chest for. Haven't really been in this area, but it seems like there's something to find there. So, if I start at this one light route, I should be able to get over there no problem and be able to find something new guaranteed all right so we've made it and i immediately need to just turn around and take a right so right over here and i'm hoping that we can you know do a good job of exploring everything today i feel like we should probably get the glow armor wherever we can just so that we're glowing uh well, i only have those two pieces hopefully we can complete the rest of it soon the rest of it i'll just make armor for now but I should be good. Oh yeah, I thought that on the map that this was all gonna be, what's it called? Um, Wob, instead it's water down here, which is pretty cool. I should have enough stamina to dash over this way, but I gotta go more to the left anyway. So I guess I, I got this area cleared out with the light roots. I just didn't really explore it very much. So that's what I'm trying to fix up this time is to make sure that it all gets taken care of. So it was right over here. I don't think I'll have to go too crazy when it comes to building anything to get over there all that much. I might be able to ascend through here and glide over a bit more. That'd probably be faster, right? So I could do that here, just like that. And I figure later on, I might end up gliding in from some other stuff. We got the Tabal Grove. So we're finding new stuff still, very exciting. According to the map, I really didn't explore this area at all. Like I flew down from somewhere. Oh no, actually, yeah, I haven't touched this entire section. So that giant gap over there, I'm sure there's more to potentially find. I don't know what's up with this, but it's probably a Yiga Clan thing. So there's this like, even in areas we have brightened up a bit, there's stuff to do and that's pretty crazy. Yeah, over there, I think that's a Yiga Clan hideout. So we'll do that soon enough. The first things first is I'll get down this way into the tree and I will, yeah, I know that's gonna attack me. But first, let me kick this open. I'm just gonna run after that. <laughs> if I don't have to deal with it, I don't want to. We get the Sea Breeze Shield, whoa. A shield said to have been the favorite of a hero who traveled the open seas. It was apparently a fam family heirloom passed down through many generations. We don't find many custom shields, so that's very cool. I'm guessing this is from the Wind Waker, I'd imagine, but uh, I'll go ahead and get that there. Um, I don't want it equipped right now. Yeah, okay. So, ow, can you cut it out? I was distracted by an awesome reward. <laughs> so this is definitely something I'll want to hang up at the house later on, but for right now, if I could just drop it really quickly and take a quick pick. There we go. Sea Breeze Shield, awesome. Always fun to get unique pieces of gear like that, so I'll take that, and oh no. Uh, we just need to continue on. Here is where I want to go at the moment, so I'll put a marker on the map so we can sort of keep track of that as I run over. Hopefully not get into too much trouble because it's just a grove of angry, angry trees. But if we get the chance to collect some Poe like this, I definitely want to take that because we might be able to get some new gear soon. I think there was something that cost about 400 Poe that we were after, but I might be misremembering. Okay, and down here. There's some monsters down here, but it's not a Giga Clan thing. So they're all just working away at this stuff. And they all have armor, so that makes it a bit difficult. Can I just open up this chest real fast? Then we can consider dealing with you guys. Giant Pride Bloom Seeds, it's okay. I don't know if I need to fight you guys too much then. That's fine, but not anything, once again, like, oh, I need to check that out. All these little octagon shapes are almost always just places where I can build. So the question is, is there anything of interest? And that seems to be my item of interest. But if I'm gonna do that, I might as well go this way. I feel like it's a shorter trip over. So I'll check that out just to make sure it's not any kind of either mine where there could be a treasure chest or Yiga Clan hideout where I can find some more schematics. Okay, so I've almost made it. What exactly it is, I'm still not sure, but it's looking like some kind of mine. A Rudo Canyon mine. Here we go. Oh, what is with this 10 over here? Is there somebody already here? Uh, hello? Doesn't seem like it, at least not in this area, but. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What is this ore? Okay, I know who you are. 
What? D d don't surprise me like that. How was I supposed to know you weren't a Yiga Clan member or something? Jeez, practically scared the pants off me. Um, so, are you also here to investigate the ore in these mineral deposits? Ore? Yeah, this stuff here. Whoa, thank you. Got some free zonite. I mean, that's some pretty weird ore, right? I've never seen it on the surface. Those ore deposits over there are chock full of it. Given the gouged out terrain and all the tools and structures we found, I think this place used to be a mine. Oh. It's the same for the other huge valleys too. It's just a shame we have no idea how to use this ore. But you have no need to know, do you? Oh. Because right now, you're looking at the Yiga who will take you down. Oh. I'll have your life. <laughs> all right, we'll see about that one. All right. Oh wait, you're gonna jump back? Here we go. Oh, wait, come on. <laughs> I missed you, okay. Boom, gotcha. Looks like you didn't have my life, but I got yours. Let's see what's going on down here. Obviously, it's just some ore, so I might just grab Yanoba whenever we can, or, oh, I could do that too. Just grab a couple of extra pieces wherever I can. Always nice to have some more for building and stuff. I don't wanna get too carried away with spending all my time doing it just because I don't have a weapon for it too much right now, but I can ascend up through this. There we go. And keep it moving. There might be, you know, something in this mine we can get. It looks like it, a treasure chest waiting for me. What will this one have? So exciting. It is? A large crystallized jar. So nothing they're really right home about, but definitely worth exploring. So with that one done, I don't see anything in this little area else to explore, but this is where we can, you know, get started with some other stuff. There's obviously going to be a shrine here. So if I can find the accompanied uh, light route, that'd be perfect. So maybe I should just get started with all this. This one shouldn't be too bad either. So I think what I'll do, is I will go here, we'll loop around, we'll grab one there, we'll just try to clear out as much of the depths as possible today. So we really haven't gone off in this distance too much at all. Like I do see ones like that, that blue one, and I don't even have a shrine over there. So it really shows that there's some shrines I can find still through just the light routes. Hmm. Lots to get to for sure, but I think the first thing I gotta do Climb up there. That's not gonna be easy. And that's where, of course, we can rely on building more stuff. But if I'm gonna do that, it looks like there was a little station over this way. I need to remember to com combine both like my schematics and whatever we have to build, which I guess there isn't too much here, but there is enough. There is enough to build something. If I do this one, I can already just put most of that together. Boom and boom, not bad. So at this rate, I just need the flame emitter, which I can place down myself if there's not one. So I'll build that. Or actually, no, it'll just do it for three of the rocks, which honestly not a bad deal. This will bring us up most of the way, I think. So that's cool, we just gotta chill out and we'll get there. So yeah, my goal is just to get to the red marker, but then we can fly over to the blue marker sooner or later. And that's like I said, there's definitely gonna be a shrine overhead, so just keeping tabs on those things is gonna be really important. So, uh. We'll get to that soon enough. And while I'm raising up, I should really look around to see, you know, either just be like monster camps or maybe even something entirely different. That looks like a little monster camp. But um, you never know what you might find when it comes to other things. So I'm just really trying to keep a, a tab on that. And obviously there's the one thing that raises all the way up. I don't want to take too much time in the maps because it's time we're just not progressing up here. It's the Shrine of Light we started with. So once I'm high enough up, I'll probably just jump from this and float over. And then we can continue on this direction. What about that one there? That's just another building station. We got these statues all over the place, but ooh, right over there. Yiga Clan hideout for sure. So I don't know. Oh no, I've been to this one. Never mind. Don't eat it. Uh cool. Good to know. I love being able to just keep track of our paths. So this is about as high as we wanna go, right? I'll fly off and head this way. 
So we sort of have to follow along this corner, but we definitely needed to climb up here to get to it. So now might be a good time to also, I know I keep pulling up the uh, menu, but I need to, uh, to pull up our gear again. I really hope we can find more of the glow armor soon. If I could finish that set, I'd be really happy. I think that's like a big one I'm focusing on at the moment. Got some monsters down that way. It's pretty much pure darkness over here. So I don't think it'd be that bad of an idea to switch to most to use. We've got the giant bright plume seed. I want to be conscious of what I use here. Like I don't want to use the savage line bow too much. But if I can just light things up a bit, <laughs> that's more than a bit. But uh, that should be enough to maybe get me most of the way over to here. So. That seems pretty good. I see a whole collection of Poe over that way too. I'll do that one more time, just like this, boom. That seems pretty good. I think that's all I really need to do to get over there. If anything, I'll climb up this way. Go, go, go. Then get back to flying. Ow, okay, there's a tree in the way. <laughs> Didn't see that. Okay, we might have to walk the rest of the way, but it's really not that far. Just gotta get up here, and hustle over, a little bit of a lip to climb up, and we made it. Okay, so once we get this, it'll clear out a lot of the section, and that'll be great. And I think we've already gotten the shrine associated with this one above ground, but we'll wanna double check that soon enough. All right, there we go. So. The light dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. That's fantastic. So if we take another look at the building stuff around here, anything I need to check out? I don't know what this is. A little bit curious about that actually. Actually, I can sort of see it from here. Okay, whenever it's like an odd structure of like unknown detail, it's almost always this little monster camp where we can get some extra ore, which is a great thing to know and to keep tabs on but nothing I need to worry about too much. So I can remove that pin and move to this blue one. But like I said before, let me double check. Yeah, I do have this. That's another one I need to work on over here that'll probably be next. I bet you I could just go through here and then just fly over. So don't wanna get too carried away, but just good to keep in mind. All right, so let's get to this one. It's off in the distance. This one's gonna be a bit more of a travel to it. So if I could, make some kind of contraption with all this stuff. I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh, wait a minute, I wonder what that is. Um, looks like some kind of sword. My curiosity getting the better of me as per usual. What is it? Traveler spear, okay. Traveler spear is not bad, but with all the other stuff I have, I would rather just let it go for now. Back up here. And I'll build something so that we can fly over. I think we will do the same thing we did before. Okay, well I don't need the crystal. It's weird that you can remake the crystal. If I did this, I can put most of it together. The only thing I don't have is the rocket and the battery. So 12 more of these, I definitely need to get some more figured out soon. I don't wanna launch it from here though. I feel like it's a bad idea to do that from here. Let's try to find a better vantage point if possible. I'll, I'll put it up there for now. Please don't fall on my head. Thank you. Uh, and get it up this way. Come on, I know. Once we get it over here. I just gotta remember it's probably not worth it half the time to build everything piece by piece at this rate because it just takes too much time. But if I could do something like this, then that definitely makes it more advantageous. So this is a bit of a slant. If I just do this and really pull upwards, there we go, we're off. We're off to the races. I do need to make some adjustments on our turn here. Do something like that and then follow along. Because it should be out this way. See, we need to sort of hook a left and then continue on. But now, we'll save some major time. Now, when it comes to getting around this area, we've ran around it before, at least to some extent. This, I hope is an, oh, you know, that's probably the one where you can ascend all the way up. Which, why would I wanna do that there? I mean, there is a whole thing here, but we've already found it, we've already done that. So I don't have to worry about it. It's a great thing about this game, right, is that there's no one way to do anything. 
there's a po over there. I don't think it's worth jumping off to get it though. Yep, so I was right about that. Um, whoa, let's uh, course correct a little bit here. This is some tricky maneuvering we got going on as we fly into the darkness. Maybe I could have put a flashlight on this thing. But there it is, chilling out in the distance. And that's the one I marked before. Did not look that far before, but I guess it is. Ooh, okay. So I don't know if I'll have enough battery to make it. I think, you know, if I need to, I can start gliding. But speaking of gliding, I'm gonna have to get to that myself soon. I see the Yiga Clan hideout below us. I'm just gonna keep going until this is out. Come on, come on. Let's get up higher. Oh, there's more. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. Yeah, okay. Wait, don't fall that fast. Uh, and then mark this one here. Really just trying to find stuff that'll keep me busy. All right, we're almost there, but I don't think we'll make it. Oh no. Here, let's be careful about this. Because I think there's a wall in front of me. There is, there is, but it's uh farther in front of me than I like, I think. Here, doing it again from up here. Really? Okay, okay. Yeah, I could have done a better job getting up this way, but before we start climbing anymore, let's just get this stuff equipped, because I really don't want bad stuff happening. I think we have enough. But if I just go up a little bit more, run it, walk up or climb up normally, and then give it a few more jumps, we got it. Phew. So I got that marked over there, right? I think I do. So if I just run over here, activate this one, that would be great. Really glad that we cleared up our markers. I got everything that my markers were previously marking so that I could use them all here. The Sissinatog Light Route. Let's give it a go. So what will this clear up for us? Right over here, a huge stack, section of everything. But we haven't been down in that area, so that's really getting me curious how we get over to there, right? How would you, huh? I don't see any way connecting it, but there's an X marks spot there. So that must mean there's a way in there. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on, do that. Mark this for sure. Now, I'm not quite done because I'm sure you notice we don't have the shrine here. So I'll mark that one too. Now let's turn back around and get this. And then I guess there might be, yeah, another one there, which should be fairly easy to get to after. I could always fly back over here, but I think it's a little bit more in that direction. Okay, let's get to this. I see a, a grand po over there as well, I think it is. Very exciting, lots of stuff going on. I need to destroy that person in particular. You can see them with the little shield. What is this thing? Oh my gosh. Uh, can I just turn it off? That'd be so nice. Just, uh, there you go, out of commission. <laughs> that is so funny that I could just be totally disabled in one hit. Oh, that almost got you. I would have been so proud of that shot. Uh, I will jump down, because there's not really too much of a reason for me to be up here. And then, catch. Thank you. And that should open up that little area back there, which we'll check out in just a second, but, Let's read this book first. This area may have an assortment of Zonai devices, but their rarity on the surface makes them unusually valuable. On one surface location is an exception. Many devices have fallen from the sky in the area around Terrytown. This location may have rare devices that we have not yet seen. Tell the surface team to maintain vigilant surveillance. And while they're at it, see if they can figure out what makes this site unique. Glory to Master Koga. Interesting, so they're spying on Terrytown. A bit concerning, but we can go ahead and grab that. And then over here, I have uh, two treasure chests to open. One of them should have the Yiga schematic. I wonder which one, probably the thing the guy was driving around, but we'll see. It's the triple cannon, whoa. All right. And then also, this should have some crystallized charges. We're pretty much almost at the maximum for battery, so I'm really excited about that. If we get up to 100, I think that's what we need, but I might be mistaken. We'll find out soon enough. So, now that I got that done, I need to put my marker there, get going towards it, 
Luckily, we can ride around a little bit like this. Maybe this will save me some time. We'll see. Big jump. Whoa, <laughs> cool. It's spitting out fire too. Here, let's stop here real quick. Because I want to just grab some poe while I can. I don't appreciate how easy these fall over, but it is what it is. I just gotta, I guess, reorient it. Okay, wait, quick. Oh, come on. So silly, so, so silly. Is there a way I can do this better? I mean, I guess if I just held it for a second, maybe I could just reverse it. Come on, come on, got it. Oh no, the turn is not gonna be easy. Didn't think about that. Come on, get up that hill. Come on. That's sort of the downside to a lot of vehicles in this game is you run into a slight incline and it's game over. All right. Get you over here. I don't even know how much farther I have to go. It's hard to tell from here. Okay, I'm giving you one last shot here. And if not, there we go, I was gonna say. We're taking it on foot. Why are you going this way? <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Oh my goodness. All right, it's gone, it's done. We are just going to move over here. I think I'm going to ignore this whole group of guys if I can. So I just don't feel like dealing with it. I wanna make progress through the depths as much as possible. That's my sole focus. So I'm guessing it's gonna be farther down. Yep, there it is. So this shouldn't be too bad to get. We just fall on down there and then we can maybe take a better look around on like actually finding stuff. Cause that right there is just definitely some building stuff I think I saw. Okay, ready. And we got the Ploymus Canyon Mine. Awesome. So there we go. Yet another light route here to activate. We're making fantastic progress so far today. Really happy to see it, but that one's all cleared out. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. We love to see it. So that'll get my one little heart back. That's good. So the Ploymus Canyon Mine. I haven't been here, but it's already marked, but that's what I wanna head towards. I can remove this yellow marker, obviously. I've sort of been to some spots around here, but I haven't been here. And this is clearly a Coliseum where I can get something. It's really weird that I haven't been down there. Um, I guess I just didn't realize. Uh, maybe I'll check that out soon. So much to do, so much to do. Uh, for right now, it's just this little marker here. If I run over, this is definitely something. So, there it is. I could just open this up, and this might just be more crystallized charges, but if it is, if it isn't, it doesn't matter, I'm here to find it, large crystallized charge. Gets me up to 89 in total. It's just really nice to progress we're making here. Okay, you know, Bo, I don't know if you're interested. Okay, it doesn't seem like he is. <laughs> I got everybody else's attention there instead. Which one do I wanna do now? This is right here. Maybe I should just do it. I don't think I've done this Coliseum. I think it is, or maybe it's something I can find an enemy in. One of the two. Okay, I hear the belch of a monster. A bellow? Maybe not a belch. <laughs> oh, it's you! I remember now, because I didn't want to fight you. I mean, obviously I have a picture of you already, but whatever it is, you know what? I, I haven't gotten too much combat in today. I might as well, especially if I technically haven't beaten it. I don't remember if these give unique prizes. So I'll give this one a go. Obviously there's a circle here, but I fought that one. So I'm just like really focusing in on just what I have done, what I haven't done. Right now, I need to fight you. It's never usually fun to fight you, but here I go. I want Sidon's help here in a second. That's what I was looking for. Because last time I fought you was a total mess. Total mess. Um, here, come on. Right there, I didn't do anything. Let's switch our weapon, because this is gonna give me a ton of damage, yeah, 100 damage. Oh, and it's gone. The second I get over here, it's gone. Help me outside on, okay, help me out for real. There we go, and I just keep going on you, maybe. There we go. Ooh. Come on, and then when you're on the ground like this, I need to switch weapons and just give you something that's gonna do a lot. Uh, right now, it's probably, wait, the Master Sword. Come on, everybody, just go crazy on it. Got it, got it, got it. The Monk to Rock can be quite the pain, but. Okay, can't get you there. I just wanna be ready for the Splash Root. 
and that might be easier than using side on stuff. That did, did that work? No, I think he just sort of ate at that time. Come on, gotcha. Come on, I'm swinging on you. I don't wanna waste any time here. Got it, got it, got it. We're almost halfway down with you, but it's always the first half that's much easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here you go again. So, I'm stuck in gross ooze. Ah, oh, this part I don't have a lot of fondness for, especially when I'm missing stuff. So yeah, it's just, ah, oh, it makes such a mess. There we go. What is going on? I just, I can't possibly break it at the speed he's making it. Come on, ready. And then jump over that, try to splash you. That didn't work. Come on, throw. There we go, there we go. Where do you think you're going? Gotcha. But if I can't find it before you get to one of these. Okay, I got you pretty good there. Slice, slice, slice. Throw one of these down so you don't just jump into that puddle or something. That wasn't so bad. Come on, Master Sword's running low on energy. I don't care. We just keep swinging. Oh no, you don't. Oh yes, you do. Okay, darn. Side on. Help me out with some of this. If you don't mind, just swing. That wasn't so bad. That got rid of a lot of it. Throwing this at you right now. Ow. That sort of hurt. Oh my gosh, this is actually ridiculous. It's just everywhere, what a mess. Boom. And then, you know what, I'm gonna switch. Switch like this, switch like that. Got it. And then, get some of that stuff. Oh no. Oh, you're moving. Gotcha. If we could just get over there now and just swing at you for the rest of this. Uh, Master Sword's broken, but I can switch over to the next weapon. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that's all the time you're gonna give me. That was it? <laughs> that one was the worst one yet. Uh, I'm running out of splash fruit. I need to get more soon. Okay, got you pretty good there, but it's not enough. You're gonna beat me up. Come on. Come on, swing on you. Everybody just go crazy. I know you're about to. I sort of got it, but man, did they go far fast. Come on, that was pretty good. A couple more swings should get the trick. Come on, or do the trick, there you go. Whew. Glad to get that done. This guy's such a pain. I think he's my least favorite boss out of all of them, out of all the like temple bosses. Glad to get that done, and because of that, we get this chest. So this chest, I really wanna pay attention and remember what we get, because if it's not like a unique thing, is it really worth doing these all the time, every time? I don't know, where is it? It's over here. Oh, but look at all the rewards here. This is the least nice to scoop up. Bunch of Octorok goodies. We need to get over here. Open this up and inside. We get a huge crystallized charge. That's great, but it's not a unique item. So I don't know if we really need to do this. Um, for now, I wanna get over here. So. I think the best way to do that, as far as I can tell, is just gonna be getting over this way. I haven't been to underground Terry Town. That sounds like a party. I guess we'll do that soon. Maybe it'd be faster to get in through this way. Yeah, and then just fly down. Okay, I'll do that one then. So I'll get up here, jump down, float over to this. So flying in from above ground seemed like the best idea. It's working out pretty well, because I'm still fairly close to the top of it. And we're almost there, I think. Oh, we're getting there. So I will get this and then we'll definitely check out what's going on underneath Terrytown. Definitely sounds interesting. Oh, and there it is. Okay, so just a little bit farther then. Ow, okay, I hit the wall. I didn't see it. We're so, so close. I don't wanna throw out any Bright Bloom seeds because I feel like it just wouldn't really be worth it. So much Poe down there though. I definitely wanna grab that stuff. Uh, almost. Go a little bit farther. Almost made it, come on. And boom, the Kawakatizar, or Katisar Shrine, our light route. There we go. So I actually cleared another good chunk of stuff over here. Look at that. It's a little bit of like a mystery patch on the left. What is that? 
Uh, that has me real curious. Um, right over here. Yeah, there is a shrine there. Oh, so I should probably make that a map marker to check out soon. Maybe I should do that now. It's closer to me now than Terrytown is, so I can run over to that, then come back to this this light route. Maybe the way to go with all this. This is a pretty open area in general. And I've not really touched much of it. That's probably just a mine. Yeah, I really think so, especially since we just had a Yiga thing here. So I'll check that out, but that's probably awesome. Not a mine, but uh, what's it called? Um, Just like a little place where they're prospecting things. I don't mean like one of the actual mines where we can find a treasure chest. What sword do we have up here? It's gonna be the soldier's broadsword. Actually, it might not be that bad of an idea compared to, yeah, the soldier's broadsword without the sparkle, you know? So I don't know if I'll have to climb higher up. Oh, I will. Yeah, when it's lower down on the surface, it's higher up in the depths. It's always sort of the catch with it. That's just, a, ooh, actually I would rather that than the broadsword. Because I do need a good big weapon like that. Even if I just want to attach it to a rock, it's something I'm looking for. Okay, so from here, I guess I'll just get back to doing this. Not the cannon. The cannon's cool and everything, but I'm looking for this. We'll spend nine pieces on it. I'll try to get some more soon. But if we could just get this a smack and fly all the way up. I'm glad I'm getting a little bit better with this step. I feel like I always chose the hard way to do things a lot of the time before. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Oh, oh, I didn't really hit it. Oh, okay, we're in the clear. I can't believe it. All right, so. Just a bit farther up now and we'll be able to get yet another light route. This one. Very interesting because it's just not really <laughs> adding much light to anything. But if it has to be done, then it's getting done. It really isn't too much. I guess it's convenience. We're just having like an extra area to get to, but beyond that, not too much to it. So we just get right down here, the Agihi Ikog or Ikaj light route. There we go. So much light uncovered. Cool, I'm glad I got that done. So, with that out of the way, what do we wanna do? I think we get back over here to this one. Oh, no, no, that's right, I wanted to do this. So if I get to this, maybe, I might have to do some climbing, but I think it's our best bet to get up to this thing. And that's gotta have some cool stuff for us. All right, we've made it to the big entrance. Okay, so it's covered and stuff, so I'll hop on to you. There we go. Then, no, no, no. Can I? Yeah, there you go. Sprinting along. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, this is awesome. So, we'll get through this as fast as we can and check out what's going on on the other side. This is awesome, whoa. So, I'll get over here. We'll grab some more Poe. And, uh, let's see what's next. The abandoned Terry Mine, Akala Highland Step. There's Poe everywhere. This is great, so I want to just grab whatever I can. And then we'll check out the center area. Usually these have, you know, something exciting going on, so hopefully that's the case with this one. And I'm almost right there, boom, at 500 po. That's great to have for sure. And there's a couple of different constructs to talk to here. Starting with the basic ones. So this will give us a new schematic as well. That's always great. Oh, and there's like a cave in there. Authorizer verified. Welcome, this was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not have yet. Let me rectify that. All right, another schema stone. So the instant cannon. The new design has been registered with auto build. I will also prepare the parts required to test this via auto build. Ooh, so maybe you can just bust open the the cave over there? Can only imagine with a name like auto cannon. I hope that the schema stone I have provided is useful to you. All right, so instant cannon right there. 
and build. And I gotta pick it up and place it into the ground a bit more. Perfect, boom. Whoa, cool. So it's just blasting its way through that. Watch out, everybody. I said to watch out. Why did you do the sand there? All right, there we go. Oh, there's a treasure chest waiting for us in there too. So, whoa, lots of cool stuff. We even got ore, really nice. Gotta build those a bit more often. But for right now, I just wanna get in here, open this up and see what we get inside. Gotta be something good, right? A large growth slide charge. Okay, not bad, but just not exciting. All right, getting back through here. I actually missed a little bit more behind the little edge there. So with that done, and grab all of these. But we're not quite done with that. First things first. Okay, this is a pile of rubble. Is there anything up here? Probably not, but it's worth checking. And then I will talk to, there's a couple of, are these large? No, they're just normal zonite. And we'll wanna talk to the other construct to get the, the thing started. Oh, there's the zonite charge. Around, yeah. That's what it is. So when I charge, cool. Yeah, not too much else to do here. So like not the most exciting area, but not too bad either. So we'll get over to you and get this figured out. Authorizer verified. Welcome, I'm a forge construct. I process donut here into other materials. Go on, please wait one moment. See, I'm glad to get one of these again. Always good to get it figured out eventually. These are materials, uh, these, yeah, these are materials that have been processed from the ore. I don't think I really need any of these right now, to be honest with you. I think I have enough to max out my battery as it is. But we'll find out soon enough. For right now, that was all really good, but there is obviously more. Right over here, we should have the little spiral, and the best way to get to this one is just to run over there from right here, I think. So if I just wanna maybe, didn't I have a marker here before? I guess I, no, no, okay, I have it. We'll put it right there. Um, I just wanna run over there as soon as we can. Is there more up that way? What's up with that? Maybe just an alternative way to get over, but if I can, I would like to. Let's just do that, see where it gets me. Yeah, I'm really curious now. Maybe there's some, some extra stuff up here, even if it is just a few bits of Poe. I need it eventually. So, is it just gonna be some more ore? Seems like it to me. I need to combine this with a rock. I should have done that before. But a little bit more zonite. Nothing too exciting there. Yeah, I guess it's just another way through. See, so yeah, all the way on the other side now. We do have to climb up a good amount. So maybe now is a good time to get something built too. I just wanna fly over there, get it done. Now what is this? It's another traveler spear. I'm not interested. What I am interested in is this. So if I go over here, I can build this one again if I needed to. I think that's the one I, I wanna go for. Or I could just go for this one. Yeah. Getting it down to 12. And then if I could just, yep, get these two. Gets down to six, three, very affordable. It's just the rocket at this point. Um, so I'll go ahead and build it. I just won't launch it just yet. I was trying to find a good place to you know, set off with it, but you don't need to worry about it too much. I just need to place it down here. There we go. And then with enough headway, I should just be able to get going. I hope. I hope I don't just immediately run into the street. I should probably at least try to avoid that situation. Here we go. I think I could have maybe maneuvered out of the way. But we're just gonna head up this way with it as much as I possibly can. I do think that's probably gonna save me time overall. Get up here, keep it going. Cause we just need to go all the way throughout that spiral, which will definitely prove to be difficult in the pitch darkness. Not looking forward to that part of it. However much I can get done just by flying up here. Oh, the Master Sword's power has been restored. That's nice. Looks like another Traveler's Spear right over there. It looks like there's some kind of light over here. 
I'm really trying to pull up. Come on. All right, you know what? Let's take a little break from it and I'll just carry it. Just couldn't ascend it up any higher, but that's okay. So if I could get it up here, you never know. Maybe there's just more of a spot where I can fly it. Oh, hey, big guy. There's something up there. Um, Couple of things. First things first. Doing this, brightening everything up. Switch bows back to this one. Um, oh, keep your eye on the prize. There you go. <laughs> and do I have a picture of this guy? Yeah. He's got some cool stuff on his head, I think. So, really wanna try to be up here. Let's use the uh, Captain for reproducing damage. And before you slam on me, please, I need to back it up. Oh no. Come on, pick up that bomb flower before disaster strikes. I'm not doing a good job of hitting you. Are you putting your head in the ground? What was happening there? Okay, come on, just a couple more swings. We got gotcha. you, just might wanna keep swinging on your belly. It might be a bad idea, yikes! Oh no, come on. Tool and finish you off, that's fantastic. Another royal bow? Whenever I can get more of these, I gladly take it. And what else we got here? Bunch of goodies, awesome. So. Grabbing all those seems pretty good. I don't think I really need any of these, so if I can find my glider again, I don't know what my chances are at this rate of uh, getting it farther along. How many fireflies? I only have 10. I really need to get a bunch of those. Whoa, wait a minute. Are there monsters up here too? Oh no. Here. Put this down right about there. I'll try to fight some of these guys, but oh my. Uh, Give me one second, because it's so dark. There we go. I'm a little scared of fighting you, but if I can just get a good swing in, that's not gonna do much. Uh, but this one. Gotcha, okay, much better. Just get that shielding out of the way. Not fun to deal with that. And I can just start jabbing you. Don't, I need that for later. Hey, calm down. Keep activating my stuff. All right, over here, I see ya. I wanna finish you off really fast. And then, hey, watch it. There we go. Get the monster pieces from you in a moment. First, I guess I'll just keep beating you up because you still want to fight. Come on, come on. A couple more shots on you. There we go. Definitely want to grab all of that. And back over here. What do you want? You're grabbing that sword, not for long. Got it. Okay, so that was pretty good. A couple pieces of Zonite to grab here that I definitely want to make the most out of. I just need to find a rock. Okay, we've arrived at Wrist Mine. Okay, there's a couple more Zonite to grab over here and then definitely I want to combine this with my Traveler's Claymore so that we just have a good long-term boulder weapon to start farming up some more stuff. So I see all of these. Thank you very much. That is so much. And then right over here I can do uh, okay, that was not the way I meant to swing. We can get a couple extra arrows out of it, which I definitely need as well. We're getting a little low on arrows. I'm at 88 now, so I could just start focusing on collecting some more. A couple more pieces of Zona, including some large ones. Got all of this too. Definitely just trying to farm up what I can, where I can. So let's check out this mine. I don't know if I should be using my thing here, but I do have it. Okay. Yeah, on this little rivet part, maybe I could get it to move. I know you guys really wanna fight, but I really don't wanna fight, so get out of here. I right, we're just put it on the glider part. I was hoping that'd be a little less, or a little more frictionless, but I suppose not. It's the fire key stuff, because I don't run into that often. Am I just gonna run this whole thing? Uh, No, let me get a rocket. Let me get a rocket, because I do not want to run this whole thing. Uh, we have some more rockets, right? I have four more. I really need to get some more. But for right now, I can get one right there. Not the most ideal spot, but it should work. And up we go. Come on, go, go, go. We got it, we got to turn, turn, turn. What? Are you serious right now? What was that? I'm holding right the entire time. Okay, whatever. Sometimes, you just gotta do things the hard way, huh? All right, you get out of here. Give me your stuff. 
and then we just keep going. On the way, I'm gonna make the most out of it and just break as many things as possible. I'm gonna get over 100 stone night here for sure because of that. There's so many of these little guys. I'm guessing there's gonna be a big frox at the end. That's my big guess. We'll throw our bright bloom seed. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything crazy. All right, guys. I'd say one at a time, but it's probably more efficient if it wasn't. Oh my gosh, wow. All right, well thank you for destroying them. And speaking of destroying stuff, you know about, go over here. There we go. So I will grab a bunch of this, and I think there might be some stuff right above us. Let's see. No. Well, no. Is there something up there? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, not really. Okay, well, if there's not much to worry about, I would like to keep going. I can ignore some of them. I'll take it. The enemies are definitely getting more challenging as we go along. They're all over the place. There's gotta be some kind of like hidden reward if we really search this area well enough, you'd think. Okay, this is the, uh, the bow I don't wanna waste. I'm gonna use it when I need it. Okay, hold on, let me grab my stuff, then we can fight. I wanna be careful here. Yeah. Watch out for you. You're a Zonite Harvester, this one guy. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I'll take it though. I didn't really get many shots in with it, but okay, you know what? I was gonna throw that at somebody, but if I can at least Grab all those, that's still pretty nice, and then I can keep running. Can I wait out of fire? <laughs> I could. Would that really work? Yeah, I can with enemies near. I didn't think so, but I was also like, <laughs> it'd be really funny if it did. Okay, so, wanna definitely equip something worthwhile. I'll probably just go with, so many stuff, things here, but I think I'll do silver moblin horn. Fuse attack car ain't so bad with this. Drop it, fuse it, got it. Always a good one to have. So, pick up some of that, and we are just gonna keep moving. I don't wanna waste much more time here than I have to, because there's a lot to explore in this giant depths area, right? I wanna get to as many of it as I can, or as much of it as I can. Okay. <laughs> Grab that one Zonite. I mean, we're grabbing, we're getting a lot of Zonite from all this too, so. If I just have to sprint through some things, so be it. Okay, don't beat me up, please. How are we doing with the spiral? Not too bad, more than halfway, I would say. It's a good progress all around. I see this stuff. That was good. Got three more there. I'm getting a little bit lower on health, but luckily we just have so much health in general. That's still not that much of a concern. All right, I see these two. Don't you back up on me. Ready, gotcha. The other one's gonna try to jump on me here in a second. Something got ya. That was good. I'd like to fly over to this one. I see two rocks here to grab. Making progress all over the place. I'm just trying to continue to hustle through it. Okay. I see you over here. Maybe I want to switch to something. I need to combine that with something for sure. I have some things that here, here that just really need a combination. Just haven't gotten around to it. Ow. He's too busy swinging at your friend. Uh, okay. Um. I really don't wanna have to fight <laughs> any more of these guys than I have to. These guys seem to be the most worth it because you just do one little peck and you get two Zonite out of it. That's really good. Okay, ready? You over here, if I could just, oop, gotcha. Exactly what I'm talking about. And then, two for one? No, not quite. Almost though. Gotcha. Cool. Already at 150 almost here. If I get you, and I get you. That might do it for me. Yep, here we go, 150, I get back over here, and I grab all these. 
Now we're doing good. Just a little bit more of this, plenty more of these little guys out. I'll switch back. I probably don't even need one that damaging. If I could get this to be combined with something nice. Uh, once again, I mean, I have a lot of these, so I might as well. Uh, got it. Gives it 33 extra damage, so good. I will continue to run. So now these are actually both the same. <laughs> I didn't even realize. So I guess I wasn't saving very much there. What are you guys doing? Gotcha. <laughs> okay, you do your thing. I'm going over here. I'm grabbing this stuff. Then I can get you. That might seem a little redundant that I'm like getting this much of it but it'll absolutely be worth it. Okay, I think we turn the corner here. And we're there. Running over a lot of the darkness though, so I could just yeah, scoot over really fast and then I'll worry about everything that's like actually in here. Cause I can only imagine it's like a ton of Zona. It sure looks like it. I just wanna see where I am. That's my number one wish right now. So if I could just get over here and get the Kimameg light route, that's perfect. So a lot more difficult to travel than the overhead version, I feel. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Would you look at that one? Ooh, much better. So with that done, feeling pretty good about this. It's a lot clearer in here. And I can um, hop off of you. Find you, Nobo. Get some more right over there and right over here. Got it. Nice. So I'll grab some of this stuff. Wasn't all of it, but it was a decent little chunk. I don't know if there's anything really to like actually get here, but there's some Poe over here and a treasure chest. Awesome. So definitely see what this is about. Right there, boom. This is the Tunic of Twilight. Legend has it that this armor was once worn by a hero who battled monsters of Twilight. There still seems to be some hair clinging to it. Looks like it may be from a wolf. Whoa, so if I were to get that by set and then go all the way back down, the Tunic of Twilight. I also have the Trousers of Twilight, so I'm just looking for the Cap of the Twilight to be able to finish that set. I've still yet to finish a single set, which is pretty crazy. Is there anything else here before I leave? Yeah, the wrist mine fully explored here, it seems. It doesn't look like there's anything else to grab. So I'm glad we got that done. Way worth it for sure, but there's still more to do. Absolutely. So just trying to figure out then like what's the best thing to do first. You know, I mean, I still need to get down this way and figure out all these. Have I even explored these areas above ground? I haven't. So maybe something to save for some other time, actually. Let's see. Do I have any other X marks or spots I haven't really gotten to? This one over here. And a couple more light route to go with it. Are there any depths I can get into that would make that easier? Not from what I can see, but it doesn't mean they're not there. Probably this one? It seems pretty far off, but I think it's actually our best bet. So I'm gonna go to this one. We'll fly over and see if I can't find that X marks the spot. All right, I've made it down from where I marked before. I also already see a Shrine of Light I definitely haven't gotten. I'm guessing that's just, uh, yep, under one of them. That might actually be better to hang a right to right now. Have I gotten that down there too? I haven't, so. All sorts of things to mark and to accomplish. I definitely need to get that done, but since it's way down there, I don't wanna do it now. I wanna fly over like this. I probably should have made something to uh, get over here because I think this might not be the best way to do it. But it's okay for now. So I will just try to fly over to it as much as I can. Make as much of a dent in the travel. It is closer than the other one, so at least I got that going for me. But it's still a good chunk of work. So I'm just trying to head over there. It's a lot of flying around right now, it seems. 
I think once we end up reaching the ground, that's probably when I should um, just make a hot air balloon traveling situation. There we go. I get that. It'll go where it goes, but anywhere just to light stuff up, ooh, not bad. And I might as well try to float over towards the pose so I can get some more of them. I think that after we get some of the stuff around here, that's probably the last thing I wanna do, is go and see if I can't cash and pose for anything I don't currently have, or just maybe have it help me find another um, statue, that'd be cool. In the meantime though, I want this. It's only nine of them, it's super inexpensive for what it is, so I always appreciate that. Then we just fly back up with it, and whatever I couldn't reach before, I should definitely be able to reach now. It's almost there. Once we get up there, I should just be good to um, activate that and things become a whole lot more visible. Just a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one, jump. Okay, that should definitely be enough for me to get over here, so I'm happy with that. Just a little bit more. We might hit the wall, I'm not sure. Okay, no, we're fine. Sprinting over here then as fast as I can. The Cowl Ross Light Route. Get this one done. And, as you can see, it's not like the, actually, no, that was a pretty big chunk. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that much. The light would dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Very cool. Now, we're not quite done with that, but that was definitely a good start. So the next light route, it's uh, off there somewhere. And it seems like there might even be, that's another thing. Need to get that done, but, uh. Don't know if I'll do that now. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. I see that red light. That very likely means that there's gonna be. Oh, you know what? I think it's a boss fight. Never mind. I thought it was gonna be a. What is this one? Okay, that's just like a. I think it's just the top of a mushroom. I thought it was gonna be another Yiga Clan hideout, but it might be one of the Flux constructs. If I'm not mistaken. I think for this one I can, oh no, oh no. I can run most of the way, gross. I thought I could just jump over all that. Somehow I only lost one heart. Yeah, this one seems fairly climbable. This is definitely not as much of an ascent to get through. So I don't mind running through this one. There's definitely a boss fight up here, but then I can get over to that afterwards pretty easy. Okay, getting up here a little bit. And up this one. And I guess we'll fight you. I mean, if you're here. All right, I made it to the top. What level is this one? It's just a level one. That's pretty defeatable. There we go. Got it with an immediate hit. I'll go for it. Never mind. I was gonna go for another. Couldn't grab it in time, but I grabbed it here. That was so fast. Awesome. So I should be able to do a lot of damage to you just like this. Ooh, really spice it up. There we go. That was super easy. And I don't even know if I want this one thing. I think I'll just leave it because I want something much stronger for my current sword that I'm trying to combine with something. If I keep running over here though. I think we'll be well on our way to get to where we're trying to get to. I wonder if I can ascend up there from here. I don't think so, but if I climb up this part. Got it. Yep. Uh, okay, this might be higher up than I expected. Yeah, this might actually be where it's worth it to build. Because I can't even see the top of that stuff. So, I will just get to crafting another hot air balloon right about here. And then as soon as I can. Oh no, you don't. Stop, please. Grab it. Just like this. One more turn, and then, no, stop, Woody, why does it want to fall like that? <laughs> why? Okay, I gotta be fast with it. Okay, Um, come back down, please. And then, stop. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. I just need you to chill out like this. And then it's gonna fall, but then, 
I reverse it. I hop on top. Oh, come on. There we go. And then I just cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Go up, go up, go up. You're supposed to. Okay, okay, hold on tight, Link. I don't know what to do. Come on. I didn't know you could turn it on while it's doing that stuff. Oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> Please. Come over here. All I want to do is ride my balloon. I know. I know. You're going to do this. Then I rewind it. And as soon as it's over, like this, I cancel, and then I just turn it on, right? No, I'm going to lose my mind just because of a very slight incline. I can't get on this thing. All right, I'm really questioning if I even saved any time with all that, but I'm up here now, and I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. We're almost at, I wonder what's over there. Looks like there might be some kind of extra boss arena, but I think we're good just to fly over from here. Maybe I could have gone up a little bit higher. It's really hard to see what's going on, but if it's a grove, hold on. If it's a grove, yeah, that'll be the X marks the spot. That should mean, yeah, the treasure's right here. Let's do that again. In a spot where I won't immediately hit something that was right in front of me, that didn't work. Okay, go that again. Where's that treasure chest at? It's gonna be inside this tree. Awesome. So mines and growths, always have the good stuff. Let's see what this one has for us. Come on, come on, don't squish me. What do we got? We got the cool shield before. This time we get the sword of the hero. A sword once wielded by a hero in an ancient age. When it's grasped, a strange sense of nostalgia washes over you. Take it when going alone would other, take it when going alone would otherwise be dangerous. Okay. That is so, so cool. I can't believe it. So, we got the Sword of the Hero. This thing looks awesome. I love it. So more of like a classic kind of Zelda sword, but I'm not gonna be equipping that for fighting stuff. I wanna keep that for a very long time. So, I guess I don't need this here, but I do need to keep going that way. So, that was fantastic. Glad that we got some other cool stuff, but hopefully we can find even more cool stuff soon. Um. Okay, now I don't think I need to light anything up here. If I just run forward and hope for the best, I think I'll get there without getting flattened like a pancake from a tree. Only one way to find out, just a little bit more left to go. Come on. And then once we activate this, we've got all sorts of stuff we can get to, but the Muzasu Light Root Got this one. Phew. So much more we can get to from here, as you can see. It's definitely something I wanna get to, but we're not out of time for today. So I'll probably put a marker here. I sort of wanna check out this. This is one I've been meaning to get to. It's another, this one is definitely a Coliseum, right? It has to be. I haven't been there yet, so we're gonna go check it out. It's under the Coliseum rune, so it's gotta be something good. We're gonna head into that one and see what we can do. Okay, going into this Coliseum seems like it's actually gonna be a great idea because there's also a light route there. There's actually two light routes here that I wouldn't have gotten. So I'll loop around and grab those after. I am a little hurt here, so I should probably eat some food soon too. But I'm just trying to get to the entrance of this whole area. That shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to ascend through one of these little treetops if possible. Ah, too high up. Okay, climbing shouldn't be too big of a deal for this. It's not as big of a rock as it might seem when I have all the stamina and the climbing gear. So let's just get up there as soon as I can. Just like that. I guess there is a place to build something up top there. Just a few more jumps and we're there. Got it. Oh, and a couple more Poe waiting for me. That's good. About to hit 600 in total. Nice to get. So, which thing should I do first? I think this. I think I should just focus on this for now. Getting to this Coliseum and maybe getting some kind of new piece of gear. Oh, it's all covered in water over this way. So I should be able to go through this yet. Yeah, that fades away the marker, which is good. I just need it to sort of keep me going the right direction. 
I want to go over here. Tulin, give me a helping gust, please. Never mind. Never mind. Going up here. We're almost there. The entrance, of course, has to be on the back side, which is it's a lot less convenient than anywhere else it could have been. Almost there. I think I can swim across this way to save myself a moment of time. Oh, I wonder if that one's gonna have any kind of special weapon since it's in front of what has to be a big challenge. There's a big treasure chest waiting for us. It's gotta have something cool. But first, it's another traveler spear. <laughs> I don't need it. We're going in. I might eat some food. Anything that might be able to preemptively give me some kind of advantage here would be great. Uh, ooh, the glow. Okay, let me eat the glow. And then also get some good armor on. Best armor on. Right there. Cool. So, yeah, let's go and fight this thing. The floating Colosseum. Here we go. Oh, boy. Definitely nervous about this when we walk up to the treasure chest. The doors close. And we got the first thing. It's a Lionel! No! Hold on. Uh, this is really bad. I didn't think it would be this tough. Okay, Tulin though with the big hits. Everybody go crazy on you as soon as possible. Come on, come on, come on. I need to hop on and mount. Wait, 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 gotcha. Okay, this is where we just need to use up all of our stamina. It looks like it's a basic level Lionel. Let's hope that's the case, let's see. Okay, I think it's a blue one. Gotcha. Go, 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 go. Come on, everybody. Hop on, hop on. And then once again, I need to mount just like this. Do as much damage as I can. Oh, nerve wracking. Help me out here if you can. Gotcha, pretty good with that one. Everybody going back in. And then once I'm on top of you like this, we do one more swing and you're done for. But I think it might just be two more Lionels. I'm terrified. This is not good. Can I save real fast? I don't know if it'll actually let me save in a situation like this. Apparently it will. Cool. Here he comes. Lionel number two. Grab what I can. Grab what I can. Ah! Which one is this? So this is a blue main Lionel. Ow, come on. Ow, you're trampling me here. I need to do something about this. Let's eat up some food. I didn't think this is what we were up against. I gotta be honest. Not what I was expecting. I would have had better food. I mean, I guess the good news is it doesn't get any harder than this, right? So, if I could just hop on top and just start swinging on you. Go, 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 go. We got a lot of stuff to get through here. So if I could really just not waste any time, that'd be fantastic. Okay, come on, get on top. And then I wanna switch to maybe a heavier weapon, if possible. Maybe now's the time to use the marble Goma Hammer. Cause you can swing really fast, even with heavier weapons in those situations. It's really nice. Okay. Gotcha, but it wasn't enough to do much. Okay, we're back on top of you. And then once again, I mean, if I can know, what was that about? Uh, Here, let's do that then. I think that worked. Or maybe it didn't. What weapon do I have equipped? No, it, it did. Hard to tell. Uh, that's gonna hurt if that hits me. Um, We're just like in this awkward little area. <laughs> that's not what I want. Can I please get off of you? Please let me off. Please let me off. Thank you. I mean, that works out pretty nice. Uh, but we're going to hop on top, get back to swinging. We're doing a lot of damage, but we doesn't let you on for very long when that happens. Gotcha. I need to switch back over to the Master Sword. Ah, that hurt. Okay, it didn't hurt too much though, actually. That would though. Okay, come on, that definitely hit him. I don't wanna hear it. Where are you at? Come on, a couple more swings should get you. There we go. Blue line all down. So much more to go here. Oh man. Come on, I'm just gonna pick up your stuff as soon as I can, but the next guy is showing up. That's gonna be the, if that was the blue one, that's gotta be the black one coming in. Um, Is it? White main line, oh! Yeah, I don't think it's called. It's called the white main. Uh, oh man, oh, dodge out, please. Okay, you're out of breath, right? You're not. Um, ooh, Tulin got you pretty good there. Everybody go crazy. 
This is just where it starts to get difficult. That was the first two, the trial run. These next two are where it gets crazy. Run that way. Uh, run! Okay, okay, not that far. Okay, wait a minute, that's not fair. Not a fan of this! How is that not a headshot? Come again? Um, not this. Oh, you know what would be a headshot is if I used a key size, so I should really try that. Um, in the meantime, I need food. Do I have anything that reduces the gloom right now? I really should have made some of that too. Uh, oh yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, this restores six of it. Cool, doesn't actually restore any hearts, but this would. Um, what am I gonna need shock resistance? Let's see what I can. <laughs> I just wear the, the shock helmet if I need that. That's, okay. Could've been worse, actually. Um, If you could just, here, switch to this bow. I mean, this is the most damaging one. And then the key eyeball. Come on. It just doesn't give me a second to breathe. I just got up. Okay, here, 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 jump on. I can't? Apparently not. Okay, I'm a little frustrated by that. Like, it looked like I could hop on and mount but it didn't let me. Come on. There. That's all I'm looking for. If I just hop on here now. Maybe I can make something happen. We got you about halfway down. Ooh. Not so bad. Here you go again. Okay, I'm running as fast as it lets me. Get out of here. Gotcha. I'm running over there again. Come on. Everybody damage you down, even if it's just a little bit. I mean, this is what I save Key's eyeballs for, right? Okay, maybe not. Um, swinging on ya. And then, gotcha. That one I don't even need the Key's eyeball. I'm hopping on top, and we're just gonna swing. It's just not very many swings before it ends. Ugh, that's basically undodgeable. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that one. I mean, maybe I, I'm just supposed to shield up. Oh no, Josie not coming. Uh, you could turn around and then I will, gotcha. So even when he's not even facing the right way, that works. I feel like it's almost better to not mount and just swing like that. Okay, the next one's about to come up. I know that for sure. So let's just go ahead and get whatever hearts I can get back eat whatever food I can. If it gives me extra damage, that's great. It's the final one, and of course it's a silver one, so it's terrifying. If I can save here, I don't know if it actually works, if it will let me reload from this spot. Grab what I can, absolutely anything I can, um, and then I really just need to run for a bit. So if I were to switch to one of these, and then, okay, 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 okay. None of that hit you? Like, come on. <laughs> okay, that did. Thanks a bunch, Tulin. This thing's about to break, but we do what we can with that one. I mount and then use the Captain Four Reaper to do just as much damage as I can. That was pretty good. Everybody, do your part here. Thank you for that. I really need to activate that more often. Um, Not that. Actually, literally anything besides that one. I'm sorry, Minoru, I really appreciate you, but that was just not what I wanted. Okay, that hit you, but it didn't stun you. I need to be really careful, because if that happens again, we're done. It's over. Uh, okay, I just barely, just barely dodge out. Gotcha, we need to run over fast, and I need to just hop on top and see how many swings I can get. All right, that wasn't so bad that time. If I could just get that. Okay, ooh. That was sort of good. Um, Go again, come on, quickly. No, okay, the fairy saving me, giving me at least some hearts. I mean, yeah, okay. Run, run from that. Whoa, all right. Here we go, here we go, ready? Gotcha, I'm getting back over here. Come on, everybody, swing. Now I'm going to mount, and then just swing a few more times, maybe. We got you more than halfway down here now. And I always get onto you when I really don't want to. Oh my gosh, okay. Where is it? I'm sorry. Uh, 
I'll turn this back on at some point. But just during the fights, not worth having on. There we go. Everybody else can swing here. The only problem is like I could use any amount of extra damage I could possibly take. Even one or two swings from Minoru could be the difference maker between winning or losing something like this. But it's like, when it's that much of a risk to my health, I don't know if that's the case anymore. Okay, you're gonna slam on me in a way that's gonna really hurt if I don't back up. Ooh. Ready? Gotcha again. This might be it. This might be it. Come on, everybody. Swing away. Swing away. There it is. Oh, my goodness. We finally, finally did it. What a nightmare. Oh. 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 There's more. I didn't think there'd be more. Why is there more? Why is there a shield in Lida? There's, there's more. No, no, he's huge! Run away! What do I do? Um, hold on. Just give me a second to breathe, please. You're gonna. No! No! What do you do? Okay, I'm ready for it now. I hope I can just reload from there. If I have to do the whole thing again, I'm going to lose my mind. That's not good. I mean, I'll definitely do better with it this time if I have to. Uh, no, okay, it starts me with the big guy. I'm so happy to see that. Okay, right here's my chance. I go to most use. I switch over here, we get the triple shot. It breaks my bow and then you break me. And that barely even did anything. What? So I decided to cook up a bunch of food and with it, I should be in a better situation. I'll show it once we get back over there. I put the medallion down or whatever it's called so that I could give this another go. I have to start probably from scratch because of that, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? I have to start from scratch, but I have all the food and I have all the tools and all the know about to maybe fight this a little bit better. Um, when it comes to swords and stuff, if I can improve anything, if I can really, like I got the Royal Guard sword here with the sparkle, I need to be able to double check to make sure I don't have any other materials. I really wanna make sure we survive this one. So if I could, this is gonna be one heck of a weapon, but if I drop this here and then I switch over to this, combine that, nope, combine that, like this, that's an 80 damage weapon right there. Um, this, the Mighty Zonite Sword. I was waiting for the right material, but I might just have to cave and use this. I mean, I wanna save that. Okay, maybe I don't have to. <laughs> I do have other weapons. It wasn't like a durability thing we were running into too much. I don't know if these would even work against this guy, uh, but I can get this one. And then with this one, what's like the next best damaging thing? This is crazy. I don't know if I wanna do that just yet, but uh, I'd be willing to let go of one of these blue white frocks fangs. Drop. Use. There we go. We're really powerful. I'm gonna fight my way through this again, like I did before, um, and then I'll get back to you guys once we're back at the big guy. All right, so I finally got this guy. I'm gonna save again. I have a lot of food, so I think I can make this work, but what I need to do, first things first, is get over here and cure whatever hearts I can. Unfortunately, I am running a little low on it. This one I wanna save, right? Yeah, I wanna save that one. So if I could just do this, and I do this, then I get a full resource and bonus hearts. Two of the hearts are corrupted, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm fine on arrows. The last guy's gonna come out. It's gonna be a nightmare. But if I could just grab all this stuff, maybe save again, because I did all that stuff. <laughs> like, actually get a good setup now. There we go. Ugh, this stuff is terrifying. But you're running over. This is my chance to just hit you with the triple bomb flower, right? Because that's my current issue, is that you have all this armor that I gotta work through first. And then you're gonna run through with this stuff. I hold the shield up just for a second. And then you're gonna charge at me? Yeah, uh, ow. <laughs> Let's go back at it. Don't waste any time, another one. I'm trying to get this armor broken. I missed that one. That was all me. Ah, so sometimes when you try to dodge it, it just didn't work. Again, okay. Got it, I got it with that too. So I broke the shield, but obviously it doesn't need too much damage in this regard. I have this uh, one thing, it does a lot of damage. I need to eat some food though. Uh, let's see, first things first, I, I still have this one, I need to save that, but I have some extra damage boosting stuff down here. Any of it's triple, this is triple, okay. Let's just eat this then. That'll be pretty helpful at some point, I'm sure. 
fire a giant fireball at us. I was hoping I could get away from it, but no, the game had other plans. Okay, I was hoping I could <laughs> do something a bit more there. Okay, I blocked it, nice. All right, go, swing, 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 getting some more damage out on you, and then, okay, this time not as much, but if I can get Sidon to help, then you gotta go. You gotta go, I'm not doing this right now, Minoru. Thank you. Gotcha. Now, okay. Our white main Lionel Pounder is badly damaged, which is very unfortunate, but you didn't hit me there, which is a miracle. Key sideball. None of them are gonna knock you out. This one might, no, okay, thanks, game. Ah, uh, <laughs> ridiculous, totally ridiculous, but I can eat this, I can get a full restore with something like this. Yeah, I don't get a ton of hearts out of it, but something. Oh, here we go again. So it's gonna be one, two, and three. It won't be four, will it? I don't think it will. Gotcha, I'm running over here, and I'm gonna hit you with this thing until it breaks, and then I'm going to switch over to this one. Hop on top of you and just swing. That does a lot of damage. Almost enough to beat you. Come on. I tried to block it or swing or something, and the game just laughed at me. Yeah, okay, come on. There it is, we did it! Oh man, disastrously difficult. That is probably one of the biggest challenges in the game, and we got it done. Whew. All right, grabbing all this stuff. Give it to me, please. Um, do I really need this? Not really. It wasn't, it was this, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't need this one. Give me that. Ooh, definitely give me this. I need to run around and make sure that we got everything. But man, was that more difficult than I bargained for. I got a couple of swords around too that I'll probably end up replacing anyways, but this uh, Savage Lionel Shield, Royal Broadsword. I think we got all the monster parts, maybe. Got at least one over here I didn't get, and that's a pretty big one to get. I don't see any others. So I think I'm good for now. Let's open up this treasure chest. What do we get inside? Majora's mask, an eerie mask passed down from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's a rather rare find. I can't believe it. That's crazy. We find Majora's mask here. Very spooky. And more than that, we defeated four Lionels in a row. I didn't think it was possible, but we somehow proved that it was. I am exhausted. <laughs> Very expectedly, um, there's a lot left to do in the depths, but we cleared out a decent chunk, and more than that, we got a couple of treasures along the way. That's fantastic. I know that there's two more right here that we could get to, but with how pooped I am, I think we'll just leave it at that. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.